me, Christmas isn't quite complete unless I've checked off my top Christmas viewings. Hello, I'm Michael Brooks and welcome to my movie cave. One of my top Christmas films is a bit controversial. Many don't consider it a Christmas movie, but being it takes place at a Christmas party, I think it qualifies. It's Die Hard. It's Bruce Willis shooting people. He has to fight off a horde of terrorists, win his wife back, and of course, you know, save the day. This is a story about John McClane having the worst time, even worse than like my Christmases. Don't, don't watch the sequel. Just don't. But it does take place at a Christmas party, and it does have a bit of that Christmas spirit, and it has some great songs. Another interesting uh, Christmas movie that I adore is the original American 34th Street. Not even released at Christmas time because the studio believed their biggest uh, audiences uh, for ticket sales was in the summer, so it was released in May. But it did so well, it actually maintained itself in the theaters until Christmas. Nothing beats this Christmas tale of, of, of magic versus the political system versus the courts. The uh, remake, it, it missed the mark. Uh, then the other one, similar to that, is one of my favorite films of all time for, for uh, any film is uh, It's Wonderful Life. Even though it was never intended to be a Christmas movie, it only takes place, I think, maybe 15 minutes in actual Christmas time. Frank Capra, uh, Jimmy Stewart. What's in fun enough was actually released uh, not as a Christmas film, it is because it went in public domain, it got shown for free. Uh, but it does carry the goodwill towards men theme throughout the whole thing where one man showing like he can make a difference. That's a version of a Christmas uh, Carol Scrooge. The ghosts are all gray, the death is creepy as all get out. My favorite is the Alistair Sims version. On the flip side of that, of course, is Scrooge with Bill Murray, which is brilliant. Obviously, a humorous take on Christmas, though their version of death also equally scary. And Bill Murray is, of course, a, a genius. Best comedy Christmas, in my opinion, is is uh, a Christmas story with uh, Peter Billingsley as the bleakered Ralphie who wants his red ride to be begun, and Jeremy McGavin as the dad in his sex lamp. Uh, sex lamp obsessed uh, father. Uh, it's one that airs like on marathons on Christmas time because you can just turn it on any time and watch it and, and see his poor brother laying like a slug being it's his only defense. It is one of the most entertaining Christmas movies you'll, you'll, you'll get. I see that every Christmas. If you're not watching those movies, you can always peek in on some of the other classics like uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, one of the ones actually deals with the Christ in Christmas as opposed to the, you know Santa Claus. Dabble in with the classic Grinch uh, animations, those, and of course Frosty, where you'll cry your eyes out, we melt. Without those things for me, it's just not quite Christmas.